Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around October 7th, okay? You know the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So this reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. When I say the timing is fluid, that means this may resonate today. It may resonate next week, okay? So let's just see what comes up. Decided to do something a little extra this time for the daily vibe because I know that the energies are going to be very intense. Okay, I believe that there's going to be some unexpected, oh, what's the word for it? Uh, change of plans. Okay, you got to think something planned out and no, expect the unexpected. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start right here. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> okay, goddess of the moon, unforeseen, unforeseen. There's something below the surface you don't see, okay? There, uh, all is not as it seems, okay? So, and this is the seven, right around the seventh, okay? Uh, there's a there's a difficult path ahead. Okay, you need to proceed with caution. All right, there's going to be an unforeseen problem that changes your plans for the day. Okay, this has to do with the moon energy that is coming in. Just saying. This is about change. You have no idea that this is about to happen. Whatever it is. That's too many. Let's just get one more. Well, okay, fine. I just did one. I just did a daily and it was about a loss and so I figured I'd do another one. So I will probably let that one go. Okay, so there's going to be an unplanned loss. Okay, I figured I'd do another reading because I got all these people that only want to hear positive. Okay, um, but that's not what the universe wants. There is unforeseen problems that need to be acknowledged. It takes guts to deliver the message. There's going to be sorrow over a loss. I'm going to download that video so there will be two daily vibes for the day. Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow. Well, son of a bitch. <sighs> because God said, you must be authentic. You must tell it like it is. <sighs> An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. This comes up in the reading as well. Cain, pay attention to your health. This comes up in the reading as well. Solid foundation, success with effort. Wedge, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. I agree. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. That's always fun. So somebody's going to try to make you do something against your will. They may get clubbed. I can see it happening. 
Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. So we have a, th and it's interesting because as I was shuffling just now in this reading, I saw third party interference. And third party interference doesn't always have to be cheating. It could be another, a meddler. Okay. Tower. Now I, I don't care what this says. I consider a tower an event. Okay. I do. I don't want, I don't even care what this person has to say. Okay, this is an event. It's a fated event that changes your life. Okay, it does lead you to success because you have no choice but to rebuild. None. Okay, you have to rebuild a new foundation. It's not going to be easy because building this new foundation <coughs> comes after a loss. Okay, it comes after a loss. It's a family loss of some sort. Somebody, it is, it is. And I have to tell you that, you know, the timing is fluid. The timing is fluid on these readings, but someone's going to try to make you do something against your will. And, you know, they could get, where's the club? In my hand. <laughs> oh, okay, there it is. You know, they could get hurt. It's interesting because at the end of the other reading was the Queen of Swords. And I said, well, she's a weapon. So somebody could get hurt. Somebody tries to force them and, you know, they could get hurt. You know, by trying to force somebody to do something that they don't want to do, you could end up in a uh, disaster. Okay. So anyhow, um, an arrogant, boastful person is going to do something stupid sums up the last reading um and they're doing it out of anger obviously there's going to be a loss we have somebody that isn't very healthy they're not very healthy at all um we definitely have somebody here that is angry they're angry um interesting very interesting so anyway, um, there's going to be some sort of sorrow here. And we have somebody here that isn't very healthy. They aren't very healthy at all. Um, they may be trying to force something. Okay. Eight of Wands. Now this is news arriving. Queen of Cups reverse. Could be, we could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, we have Pisces. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Um, this is sadness, heartbreak, great sadness, disappointment, tears. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands is news arriving, okay? Wheel of Fortune, life is about to change. This is a positive change, but it may not be positive when it's happening, okay? Because this is uh, changing directions. This is the end of a cycle. King of Swords, There's this is... Uh, the King of Swords is somebody that is in a position of authority. This person is maybe the communicator, maybe the investigator, maybe the uh, decision maker. This person may be making a call of some sort. Uh, the King of Swords is uh, well, this person has some sort of information. This is a challenging information. Somebody's going to be receiving some challenging information. This could be coming from a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Six of Swords reversed. We could have a motorcycle here. We have we we could have somebody showing up on a motorcycle. There could be a, some sort of motorcycle involved here. This was reversed. I just wanted to show it to you. This is trouble, okay? This is trouble because upright is moving away from trouble. We have somebody causing some trouble. This is somebody that is troubled, okay? They're troubled. They may be um, not in their right mind. This person may have a motorcycle. They may own a motorcycle. I'm trying to hear. 
Anyhow, um, the Wheel of Fortune is a change in direction. There's something about wheels as well, because there's wheels here and wheels here. The wheel is spinning somebody out of a troublesome situation. It's been a lot of trouble. There's been a lot of uh, turbulence. But it's about to end because this is a completion. So this cycle is about to end. You're going to receive news that it's over. Okay. Um, it isn't going to be good news. Okay. That Queen of Cups reverse is sad news. It's sad. It's heartbreaking. Deep sadness. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is defensive competitiveness. A fucking motorcycle outside. Unbelievable. <sighs> Anyhow, um, I can't get over it. Something to do with a motorcycle or a bike or a vehicle. Anyhow, Seven of Wands, opposition, fighting, caught off guard. Somebody's going to be caught off guard by an individual that is looking for trouble. This person is looking for trouble. This person is picking a fight. Somebody is looking to pick a fight. Angry. Oh my God. Night. Look at this person. This person. And that is in a hurry. This person is on a mission. So we got somebody that is coming in in a hurry. This person is on a mission. They arrive all of a sudden. This person is being assertive. They have no fear. This, somebody's going to be taking a risk, doing something very, very risky. They're ready to fight. There's going to be a dispute, an attack, somebody, something like that. Somebody is out for revenge, and that is what I see. And if you want to hear more, feel free to watch the other reading. Good luck.